So this is actually a two-part episode. You definitely need to watch part one to understand what is going on with me putting this wall together. So make sure to click the link here, which will take you to episode one if you haven't seen it yet. For those that have seen it, all right, let's get back to it. So the next step now, as you can see, is that I'm gonna go and place my two jack studs on each side. I don't think that I said anything about it, but typically a wall will only have one king stud and one jack stud. The reason why I have two is because typically, again, in my area, which is considered a high win area we typically put two king stud and two jack stud so you can see those are a little bowed so i'm just going to clamp it in place before i nail it And the last one. So one thing we can do at this point is just, uh, I'm just gonna do a quick diagonal check. Make sure that I don't have anything that's uh, not square. 112 and a half. And yeah, 112 and a half. So we know that we have a perfectly rectangular opening and I'm gonna run four studs in the middle so that you know I have enough room to um, attach my windows on each side and I'll just have trim you know, around it. Well, because my nails are not long enough to go through four plies, I'm just going to put a few screws in the center too, and then I'll nail the two others from the, uh, from the outer edge. And I'm using the same two inch deck screws that I've used in the past. Going through a lot of nails, but I gotta say that this nail gun is making my life so much easier. And here's my 32. I'm gonna cut two small 32 inches pieces, which will go here, which will be my the bottom sill for the windows. So here's my window. Yeah. I took my measurement and so for whatever reason, I guess just because I don't know what I'm doing, the studs, those ones and those ones are kind of like sticking out like that, meaning that we have an extra inch at the bottom. So, I mean, obviously, you see, you can still move those around. So I'm going to try and see if I can, uh, if I can just use this strap to kind of like tie it a little more. Aha, it's working. So the next step is to mark up where uh, the window opening is going to be. And again, so that's gonna depend on the size of your window. In my case, it's a 52, 52 inches rough opening. So uh, 52. Now I know that I need to have those guys butting against here at 52. Now I wanna make sure that I got my 32 spacing respected so i started getting questions about the tools that i've been using to build this cabin so i decided to start uh, putting a list of links to the tools in the description below that you can find you know below the video i'm mostly listing the power tools and the pneumatic tools and hopefully you know that'll help you figure out what i'm using and what might be useful for your project because let's be honest without these tools there would be no cabin so we're slowly making progress but you know we're getting there so now the only thing i have left to do is i need to cut those pieces here that we that will support the bottom seal of the window so i need six pieces sorry is the six pieces that i just cut so one si one thing to keep in mind that i'm gonna have to do now is when you install windows the bottom seal of the window which is those two pieces here is gonna have to be it doesn't it needs to have a little slope to it because when we install the window on it you want to make sure that you know when we do all the flashing and everything if any moisture or water was getting behind the window it would naturally uh 
run off the sill and get out. We're gonna slope the sill by a quarter of an inch. We just want to slope it a little bit. A quarter of an inch is all it should be. And if you did your cut correctly, it should just fit like a glove. And that's apparently what's happening here. Do the same thing for the others. So now is the easy stuff. I'm just gonna start laying all the other stud. So I went ahead and uh, attached this four pack together. I did it the same way I did the other one in the window. Top light like this. It's windy today. And then the rest of it like that. Ready to put this plate up now. Oh, this one's gonna be a big. This needs to move a little bit. I can pull it probably from this side. Ah, pretty heavy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to move this down. Yeah, not really. A lot of damage from that thing. Ah. Oh yes, that's the way. Ah. I think we got it. All right, let's nail this bad boy. Man, some of the studs are like so warped that you gotta make it work. Oh. Okay, time to do the bottom put. Okay, so we're almost done at this point. I'm gonna need to add another top plate, but before that, I wanna check the diagonals of the whole wall to know that the wall is uh, square. So let's check this out. Hook your tape measure. And this is 236 and 78. All right, here we have 236 and a half. We're pretty much a quarter of an inch out of square which is really not much. The wall needs to be square before I put the sheathing on. I think it's that top needs to shift a little more. I'm gonna attach the bottom plate to the beam below because I wanna be able to, uh, you know, hammer this side, but I don't want the whole wall assembly to move. I'm just gonna attach that at several locations just so that the bottom plate is not moving when I try to smash the other end. That wind is cold. Oh, this is cold. So cold. All right, so I just put this little angle right here and then, and then this guy right here. So I need to be able to move the top out while the bottom is staying exactly where it needs to be. Hey, I think it's working. Let's check my measurements. So we're at 36 and three quarters. Uh, 36 and a half. I mean, almost five eighths. I mean, we're really close now, but let's get it perfect. Banged it a few times, check my diagonals, and I'm good now. I have exactly the same diagonal measurements on both ends. Second top plate. And that is it. That's the first wall I've ever built. I mean, it probably took me, I don't know, five times as long as, you know, uh, a pro would take, but I learned a lot and it turned out to be 
you know, it turned out like a good wall. So in the next episode, I will be installing the sheathing on this wall and I will definitely go over everything, especially the nailing pattern that you have to install on the sheathing, which is actually a big deal, especially in the eye of uh, the inspector that's going to inspect this building. I just put the link somewhere around here to the next episode, so make sure to click it. Thanks a lot and I will see you in that next episode. And it is freezing cold here.